Uh-oh, it is time to talk Star Atlas. Listen, I don't know what happened, but something serious happened. We follow Star Atlas. There was some seriously negative things happening here. I'm not even sure what's going on. A lot of people saying Star Atlas is dead yet again. You know, I'm really rooting for Web3 Gaming, but it just doesn't seem like there's anybody out there that can do it. Let's watch here. If Michael Wagner's probably going to come off really like, I don't know. Michael Wagner doesn't come off good in my eyes. He just always kind of seems, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just see what we got to see here. Alluvium is not even in our league. That's my opinion. Their game is not good. Their game concept is not good. Uh, Kieran wants to be a so bad uh, that all he can do it's is throw douche. shade because he's intimidated by how much we've accomplished. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Michael seems like really douchey. He comes off really douchey to me like that. You know, like, I don't ever like, like, like he just as a CEO, <sighs> you're representing, you're like the face of the company. And like, he just doesn't ever come across as somebody like that I feel is professional because he says these things, like how he got into the spat on Twitter with, with Erad and, and Erad got a copyright strike from Michael Wagner, the CEO of a, of, of, of a game publisher. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't seem right to me. Not even a day news broke that Star Atlas has laid off 73% of its workforce. And what? Whoa, nanny. Oh man, this market's hitting so hard right now. This market's hitting so hard right now. I don't even know if it's done yet. I don't even know if it's done yet. I think there's more blood to be spilled in the streets in the crypto world too, man. And this is a dude that believes in Web3. This is a dude right here that believes in blockchain. And I see this type of thing, man. You got to be careful what you're putting your money into, by the way. Not financial advice, just common sense. You know, like there are some projects that, that are going to make it. But <clears throat> the more time goes on, I think they're running out of money. And I remember talking with Montoya about this, who's a content creator that I, that I happen to uh, dig. And Montoya and I were saying that we don't think that uh, Star Atlas has much more than like maybe six to nine months worth of money left. So here's proof in the pudding. Here's proof. You know, they're laying off 73% of their workforce, man. And their CEO has the nerve to publicly reignite some beef that they have with their main competitor, Alluvium. I, I try to take a humble yeah. approach to life, but you I try to take a humble approach to life. This guy does not watch what he says. Look, as a dude on the internet, dude, I have no filter. You know, I've said some crazy things in my life, but I don't have this CEO status. I'm not. I'm not responsible for like investors <laughs> and their money. And when they're putting money into this, you got to be careful, man. There's so much money tied up into this. And he is the face, man. And to see this, it's just so disappointing. It's disappointing to me because I want to see this space be successful. And then this and the, the nerve, the nerve to say he's like a humble dude when he's putting down alluvium is like, whew. I think we're the biggest game in Web3 period just full stop not just on solana where's the humility come on mate i totally agree with him who is this guy totally agree totally agree with this dude i like this dude as an investor and gamer of the web3 gaming space it's frustrating to watch this feud between two of the <laughs> biggest potential gaming projects in web3 they should be joining hands and not i mean like the competition always right but they shouldn't be dissing each other they like the whole community in the web3 world needs to join to join hands together man because it's it's just a little baby right now and to see this infighting is just so disappointing for people that want to see web3 make it we're gamers out here that actually want to see the utility come to life, that want the fun in the game, and actually, hey, maybe we can make some money with it, which would be awesome if I can play and have fun and then make some money at the same time. To me, that's a no-brainer. But to see this type of thing, just ridiculous, ridiculous. And the things that they're bickering and feuding about are stupid things like who copied what and who's going to do things better. You can't even call Illuvium a Web3 game. They, they have brought zero innovation to Web3 development. I don't think they have a single blockchain engineer on their team. They have never deployed a single program on IMX. All they have is NFTs. 
that that you can maybe call that a blockchain game but that is completely disingenuous in my opinion they have brought zero innovation to the space the whole point of web3 is not who makes the most protocols who makes the most nfts it's about decentralizing the space so that innovation can grow outside of some of these publishing houses that we see who are monopolizing and you know, putting pressure on games you'll be I love this dude already. I'm subscribing to this dude. Was only 232 subscribers. Gameonomics. I'm actually gonna. If you guys are interested, I can tell just from this guy's like opinions right now. I'm totally down with this dude and what he's seeing right now. This is a guy like me who's who's looking at Web3 and sees that there's like some you know, some positivity and he's looking at it for what it is and he's saying, Hey, Michael Wagner, grow up, be an adult, be the CEO that we all want to see. I personally thought that Star Atlas would be the one that makes it, but the more I see the behavior from Michael Wagner, the more disappointed I get. Every interview I've seen Michael Wagner, there's always something that gets to me about his demeanor and the personality, how he's projecting, what he's saying, and I want to believe in it, and then this shit, and Michael Wagner just blows it right up again, and I'm totally digging what this guy is saying. Biggest competition lies outside of this small ecosystem. In case you haven't noticed, Microsoft has been quietly monopolizing the gaming industry. It reminds me of Game of Thrones where it was quite frustrating to watch these lords squabble and feud over the small, small issues when, you know, they should be getting themselves together and progressing. Yes. Uh, and if that was annoying to yes. me as a non-committed casual viewer, Imagine how you would feel as an investor that puts on the line yes. their hard-earned cash. Yes. At the end of the day, as much as we want to play these games and are gamers, we are also investors. And I'm ringing the shame bell for Michael Wagner. You're absolutely shame. right there, Luigi. Shame. You're absolutely right. Shame. It's got to be about the fun first. These guys just don't get it. And it's just, it's critical that there's somebody out there that wants to make the game for fun's sake and have the, the, the money making aspect of it to be a secondary thought. Like you've got to make the game a fun experience. Number one, and none of these guys seem to get it. I'm looking around this space and it's a wasteland. It's a literal wasteland. Where's the leader at? Where's, where's the person that's going to be the leader that can make it happen. I, I thought it would be star Atlas. I don't think it is. So and we want to make so sound upset. decisions based on company stability and progression not childish squabbles. Uh, okay, we've deployed, well, we've deployed 15 right. on-chain programs. Our entire economy is built on-chain and the product that we're about to roll out is 100% on-chain. It's really a shame how much time and energy gets wasted on these sort of feuds instead of what truly matters in the space, the creating a game. unique, immersive and decentralized gaming experience that the world has never seen before. As much as these games need to compete with each other to provide the best possible gaming experiences, they also need to band together and collaborate to prove to the world that decentralized gaming is the future. At the end of the day, we are taking on Microsoft, Tencent, Sony. These yes. are some big boys. Yes. The gaming landscape is changing and you have mega giants like Microsoft and that's the other angle that nobody understands about Web3 Gaming is the decentralization of it to get away from these big corpos, man. The whole reason Bitcoin, decentralization, the, the blo blockchain in itself gets the third party bullshit corpo aspect out of it. I really wish that that narrative was pushed because it is, is a true narrative. To, to create something that's truly decentralized that not anyone can touch other than the, the people that make it that make the game. But you gotta find the makers actually or, or legitimately want this project to survive and are doing it for the right reasons. And I see nobody in the space doing it. Off to a leading the way. Their recent acquisitions of Activision Blizzard and Bethsaida show that they're angling towards dominance and consolidation. It's essentially a high stakes race involving players like Sony, Microsoft, Tencent, Shit. and many others. Each are trying to amass as many game studios as they can. This trend poses a significant threat. It's a huge threat because these guys are trying to take this industry over. They're trying to take this aspect of what's what's genuinely decentralized and centralize it in their corpo way. They're attacking the space. They're literally attacking the space and trying to monopolize it threat to diversity and innovation that has always been a hallmark in our gaming industry. The answer to this lies within the world of Web3. To democratize, 
to decentralize and to diversify the world of gaming. But for this to be realized, our Web3 gaming leaders need to look beyond the bullshit small time bickering and see how they're going to tackle some of these looming monopolies. So, Star Atlas CEO, awesome. if you are watching, stop focusing on competition within awesome. the Web3 gaming space. Instead, let's innovate, let's collaborate, and let's show the world what Web3 gaming can truly be. This is not Game of Thrones. This is the future of gaming. Dude, bravo. I am going to like that video. I subscribe to that guy. And if you are down for that, I say, I just say bravo. Bravo, sir. Bravo. That was, that was excellent. I'm going to link that once again. If you guys are interested in that, this guy is dead on 110% on the money. This guy knows what's up. So, uh, his name is Gameonomics. Totally dig the name. Totally dig the vibe. Dude, you're about the realest reel in the space that I've ever seen yet reporting on it. Keep it up, bro. Keep it up, man.